Oh, hello there. Hello there. What's up everyone? Tom here. Time of the clock is half eight uh, on a Wednesday evening. Good uh, Adam Walsh is behind the camera. Um, hello there. Hello there. Yeah, we got our test on today. Info management and principles of finance. Midterms, MCQs. As you can see, it's pretty empty. That's because not many people are in Quinn at this time. Quinn closes at 10 p.m. Monday to Friday. So the reason we're here, here late today is because I'm staying over in Adam's house again because we're doing a cool video. On there for me, Mary Woods. Eh? Uh, so, what do, do you have with your egg peels on the menu this evening? Uh, so, that wasn't me because I don't eat them now, but there's a few vegetables in there. That was for me. Could I eat them for the old dinner, do you think? You get an egg like this, you get a bit of protein, you know. CNE is one of the biggest societies on campus. This year is their 108th session, and every year they have what's called the Comball. Comball is probably exactly what you think it is. It's a ball of some kind. You get guys and girls from college, they go out to a hotel in the countryside. It's a great night of music, food, and break! The interesting part about it is that every year, there's a long line of people to get tickets for us. If you've ever seen people line up for like the new iPhones in New York or something like that, you'll notice there's such a high demand but the supply is very low. It's a very similar feeling to C&E. So I thought it would be cool to be a roving reporter in the morning of when the tickets go on sale so we can see exactly what goes down when these tickets are being sold. We've got a busy morning ahead of us. Yeah, I've actually been trying to get the sticky bow on for like five minutes. We're gonna have to Google it. This is a clip on bow tie. How the fuck does this work? Why isn't it screen recording as well? Quick time, what the fuck's going on, man? Where, it doesn't say stop screen recording anywhere. Where is the saves? Okay, fuck this whole bow tie thing. We're going to building 71. Hold the phone, Adam may have saved the day. <gasps> what? Is that a, uh, a clip on one? Yeah. Oh God. This is a clip on bow tie. You should be able to help me with that. 12 seconds later. Now we're ready to go. Yeah, let's see the queue. Okay, very loud at the moment, very windy. But Adam Stairs was saying that 20 minutes ago, uh, he looked at the line, it's 20 to 9, and it was going around the corner. <laughs> And it ends right down there. Time is 10 to 10. I'll let you know that the tickets were supposed to go on sale at 10. There were so many people who were here, we started giving them away at 9. The after tickets are completely gone, and I'd say there's only like two or 300 tickets left. And the line is still freaking massive. Right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna interview people in the line. How long have you guys been here for? Um, since like half seven. Probably an hour and a bit. Ten past eight. Jack, are you lining up? Have you got your ticket already, or? I don't know what to do. To be honest, uh, I was expecting to come in about half nine. and just walked straight in front of the queue, but uh, things have taken a turn. Joe, how long have you been in the line for? Uh, I don't know, about an hour. I was at the front, got kicked out. So, do you think you'll get a ticket at the stage? No, I don't. And would you have wanted to stay over, or would you got the three a.m. bus home? I probably will stay over. Stay over. Don't worry, you can stay over at mine. Thank you. Um, did you go to Conball last year and why are you lining up this year? I um, went to Conball last year, lining up this year because it was very good last year. Any words to the people who are at the end of the line? Give up. <laughs> We're with a winning ticket holder right here. How, how happy are you here with the tickets? Static, over the moon, can't wait. 
slept in the hotel last night. First in the queue. First in the queue. Well, he was in there. Yeah, I was the first. Loads of people skipped. Him included. The guy behind the camera. He should not be allowed into combo. <laughs> Uh, we were here from 7 a.m. We were told I didn't go last year, and everyone just said to come in that early. See anybody who skipped the line get kicked off or like kicked uh, to the back? One person, yeah, which is fair. A, a certain person, it was very fair. Any any words for Joe? Any words for Joe? Just keep keep the head up. Uh, just, just believe in himself and go for it. Do you think you're gonna take it at this stage? Yeah. What? <laughs> no worries. Yeah. <laughs> 12 minutes past 10, line's a lot shorter, they're running out of tickets. I'm gonna go get changed and when we come back, we'll see if there's anybody left. And there we have it, an hour later, everything is absolutely cleared. Tickets go back on sale at 3 p.m. for final year students, so we uh, might catch up with them then, but we've got other stuff to do first. The meeting that I'm about to go to could potentially be really cool to look back at in the future. I guess you'll find out after this hand transition. <laughs> meeting was lit. That's all I can say. What's up? It's been a very busy day. We've had meetings, we've had class. Now James is behind the camera. I actually don't have a list here today. This was just shit I wrote down in the morning time as like a plan before we went off. I did the thing for C&E. That video is being exported and going to be on the Facebook page. It's already been visited or already been used in this vlog. Today we have another awesome speaker coming into ECD. It's in my hands. And it's, she's called Nigella Lawson. I don't think she's an Irish... Did I get that wrong? No, it's funny. It's, 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 it's not a... She's not really our generation. I think we're more like Mary Berry and... She loves mums. Mums love her. Mums. <laughs> Nigella mums. Lawson loves mums. No. Clickbait. Mums love her. Mums love Nigella Lawson. Uh, yeah, basically we're, we're going to interview her, so that's pretty cool, isn't it, James? Oh, yeah. Where are you? Not too bad. I think, um, I think that it's still, I would still say, to the old-fashioned route of going to local a local newspaper. I don't want it online, however. I'm not mad keen on that, and I like going to places where they do things I don't do. Yeah, so if you want to, I guess, to start off with, what, I read in your Wikipedia that you changed school nine different times when you were a kid, what was the cause of that, and how did that make you see education? Well, I... It's evening time now, 6 p.m. Thing with Nigella is finished. One of the things I find interesting is that when guest speakers come in to UC now, I'm constantly like, oh, that would be good content for the Society's page. And so I've met a few people now. I've met Nigella Lawson, John Bishop, Al Sharpton. Ah! Look who it is! Hello! Mamma pizza! Mamma mia, pizzeria! When someone comes in, the system has to be very streamlined. So this person has finished their talk, you shake their hand, you mic them up, you explain what's going on. Because initially, if, you, if you're not prepared, not to, it's not that you're not even prepared for it, it's just like a new experience. So you haven't learned what to do yet. And so that's what I've been learning and I was saying to James there, I want it to be a lot better. I want the setting for the interviews to be better. I want the system to be more streamlined. The more different types of videos you make, be that events, be that weddings, be that interviews, be that uh, college work, any of these things, you're essentially adding to your like filmmaker's tool belt. You have all these sort of skill sets that you can dip in and out of the more videos you make. Other than that, we're going to the gym and yeah, I... I'm gonna do another transition. I've done 20 million today. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit all over the place, but James needs this wide angle lens. And he forgot to take it out of the office. So we're now gonna bring it to him. And hopefully I don't crash. You're probably not gonna hear me here because of the wind. But uh, yeah, I was all dressed in my shorts and stuff as well. But we're gonna save our friend. <laughs> Later. Oh my god, this, this is, is not mom. going on the Okay, vlog. Lucy's stuck in the box. This is not going on the vlog. Ready? Ready? Two. <laughs> can you, if we lie on your side, can you crawl out? <laughs> <laughs> right, be free. Push, Lucy, push! Push! Yeah! <laughs> it's a girl! I didn't make you do anything, you did it yourself. Funny. Okay, if it's like reshaped, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Leg day, Ryan. <laughs> 
Hey Lit, I had a fucking sick day. I'm actually feeling so good right now. We got the combo tickets this morning, we did a bunch of meetings, we met cool people. Uh, the video's doing great, it's got 2k views. Do you know what to do, James? No, I just want to, I want to do something funny. I need to cough. <laughs> Are you quite done, Ryan? Ryan. Go f*** yourself, Tom. <laughs> nah. So, Ryan, um, just, uh, just a question. How are you today? Tom, uh, how are you? <laughs> yeah, no, no, James has not shit on me in your vlogs. <laughs> <This is laughs> uh, no, seriously, how are you? I'm f*** off. Do you get a class? No, I don't want to play with you guys anymore. I'm not your friend anymore. Hey, yeah, I had a sick day. Uh, we're in week eight, that means we are... Okay. Four, eight, 67. Big Shaq. Oh, that a sneak. 66.67% the way through semester one. Thomas yeah. does math. I do math. Minus one, that's free quick maths. And yeah, plenty of six stuff going ahead. The video is on 2K views after 90 minutes, which is sick to see. As a bit of context for the job, before I came into the room, before James was here as well, there wasn't very good like engagement with media when it came to societies. And the whole reason that we're here is to try and expand that, expand the amount of reach we have, the amount of students that we engage, people interested in societies, and maybe we reach out to someone, maybe somebody who saw that video hasn't been involved in society all year, they send us a DM, they join Harry Potter Society, and it becomes a big part of their life and it helps them grow confidence. That's not what this video is about, it was about combo tickets, but uh, either way, I hope you enjoyed it. And other than that, Ryan, when are we gonna see them next? Exactly. We'll see you Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Peace.